Question time. Michael Forsyth hits out at SNP's fantasy politics. Sign up for now and never miss the top politics stories. Again, subscribe when you subscribe. We will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters. Sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or service. Our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights. You can unsubscribe at any Lord Michael Forsyth question how Scotland would have fared in the COVID crisis if the SNP had won the independence. In a blistering attack on independence, the Conservative peer said that he can give 20 billion reasons why we are lucky to be a part of the United Kingdom as he cited the 20 billion pounds sent from the UK Treasury to deal with the attack. Scottish Health Secretary Jean Freeman, who also appeared on BBC Question Time, for spreading fantasy politics and fantasy independence supporting journalist and commentator Angela Haggerty told Lord Forsyth, there is no reason why Scotland cannot thrive as an independent. This prompted the former Conservative cabinet minister to fire back, I can give you 20 billion reasons why we are lucky to be a part of the United Kingdom. 20 billion pounds is how much has come north of the border to deal with COVID. Ms Freeman responded, it's not free money Michael. It's money the Scottish taxpayer contributed to the tr However, Lord Forsyth took Ms. Freeman to task. You know perfectly well that your own figure shows Scotland gets a huge amount from the UK trust. This particular crisis, the furlough scheme, the vaccines. Where would we have been if we had voted as you wanted in 2014? When Ms. Freeman rebuked this, Lord Forsyth hit back. Can I finish my point? How would we have managed in this crisis? We wouldn't have had the strength of the UK around. If you want to have another referendum, you, at the very least, should spell out how we would survive with our currency. How would we pay people's pensions? How would you pay your share of the debt, which is now enormous? There will be half a trillion pounds of debt increase this year and it's just fantasy politics and fantasy economics to think you could risk the future of Scotland by shearing yourself away from the strength of the UK around Scotland. Ian Murray tells SNP to be straight with people Lord Forsyth served in the cabinet of John Major as Secretary of State for Scotland between 1995 and 1990. Ms Freeman responded to the attack, what we are saying is that people in Scotland have the right to choose, they have the right to choose. We'll have the arguments about whether or not we are independent if people choose that they want a ref. It's really straightforward and it's a basic democratic question and no one, actually no one, should deny the democratic right of people in Scotland to choose if they want to have a referendum to be an independent country or not. Trending there have now been 21 consecutive polls showing majority support for Scottish independence. Earlier this week, it emerged that support for independence had fallen to below 50% for the first time this year. According to a new Savanta Comrie's poll for the Scotsman, the survey found 47% of Scots would vote to leave the Union, versus 42% opposed and 10% undecided. Once the undecideds are excluded this would give the Nationalists 53% versus 47% for the Union. Some 45% of respondents claimed the SNP are divided, an increase on 8 points over the December.